Good morning, beautiful ladies of my heart. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're joining me. I'm so thrilled you're here. Just makes my day. Okay, you spoke and I listened. From my poll, it seemed that Neutrogena won hands down in the review you'd like me to do. Uh, Makeup Revolution was second, and I really would like to try that sometime in the future as well. Possibilities are endless. So what I have, I went out and looked for Neutrogena. They didn't have a lot of choices for uh, makeup other than foundations. They had CC creams and tints. I think I've used the tints and the CC cream a long time ago in the past, but I, I don't recall. So I grabbed this Neutrogena. You know, I'll have to put my glacas on. These are my new glacas. What do you think? <laughs> I got fingerprints on them. Okay, Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup with SPF 20 Antioxidant Blend. Which when I looked on the back, I thought it was going to give me the antioxidants. It just said an exclusive blend of antioxidants. Keep skin young and healthy look. Een. They left the een off. And this is in buff 30. And then I found the Neutrogena Concealer, and this is Radiant Cream Concealer, Peptides and Antioxidants, and this is in the color Light 02. All right, anxious to try that. I'm always find, trying to find the Holy Grail I have with the Revlon. Let's see if Neutrogena can beat it. They all have great price points. And then, I couldn't find a blush, but I found this Healthy Skin Blends Natural Radiance Bronzer, and I like the little tiny container it's in. And I think I'm going to try some of it on my lids as well, on my eyelids. So all the products I'm using, from Neutrogena to the other products I'm using in my arsenal, I will list in the description below. Click on the more, and then you'll be there. All right, let's just get right to it. Now, I'm going to shake this up. I'm not sure. I, I bet you it's, it has a doe foot or something like that on it. So let's see. Oh, it has nothing on it. So you just kind of pour them out. I don't know why they can't have something for you. That can't be that much costly. Okay, that much cost. They can't cost that much more. And it's sure less messy. Alrighty. Now I take my blender and I'm going to dab into it. See, it's right here. can never tell if it's in focus. I'll dab a little on there and I'm going to go here. And I'm finding that these buff colors, buff beige, soft beige, light mediums are working to matching my skin tone for right now. Just so I, just when I get that down, then we'll get some sun on us and have to change up. This is pretty, ladies. I'm going to go in for a close-up. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. It's glorious. The color is glorious. Like a pump and a half is what I used. Don't forget the ears. Go down on my redneck. <laughs> Why it's always red there. Okay. So as always, you just blend and pound. <laughs> blend it in. That's beautiful, ladies. Oh my. And I'll let you know the stain power as well. We're going out tonight, but maybe I can sneak off into the bathroom and show you how or. Okay. So then you have to kind of wipe around that can go more on the neck, more on the redness. Once you get everything else on it, good, it becomes wunderbar. Right next, they're pretty little bronze. And I'm going to, I always have a towel over here to wipe off any excess because I don't wash my brushes every day. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just kind of pat in here. I see there's all these different colors, so I guess it's supposed to swirl. Here we go. I think I would like to do... What I think I'll do first, excuse me, I forgot. I forgot armed robbery was illegal. I'm gonna take my little contour and I'm gonna go down here in the, the right up here, this little corner up here, and go in here and see. What I like for the contour, you know, is under here to get rid of that waddle, just a tad. Oh, the faces we need to make. We'll go like that. Oh, yes, it's that. When you dip it in the whole thing, mm -hmm. <laughs> that is pigmented. Hmm, that might be way too dark, but we'll blend. Okay. I'll go over my nose, too. Mm -hmm. Where the sun slapped me. Okay. 
So this stuff is nice. And it's kind of cool, the swirly girly gumdrops. Okay, so for the blush, since I didn't find one for uh, the Neutrogena, I'm using my Physician's Formula in this multicolored blush in Blushing Rose, it's called. I'm going today to get my a driver's license picture renewed. Yes, it was horrible, but that's not the case. I am completely, I look completely different now. I have gray hair and so different. And the last picture they took of me looked like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, it looked like I was on steroids. That's what it looked like. You be the judge. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> do I look the same? All right. Driver's license pictures are hideous anyway. Passport, my passport. Oh my gosh, I look like a criminal. Oh well, okay. So again, another subtle look. But what I'm gonna do first, Mikilaj, and this is in Make the Moves. So I'm gonna dip in that matte pink up there and flip it over and go here. See, ow. Oh, pretty. Okay. Oh. The Neutrogena Bronzer. And I'm going to go into the very, this one right up here, the one that I used to contour with and see. Okay. Well, that is pretty. I'm finding bronzers are just gorgeous. What do you think? Oh, this eye. I have so much trouble with this eye. If I was left-handed, this eye would look good, and this one wouldn't. I mean, I, it's just, you know, corner with this paper just a little bit. And I'm just going to do my little... Bringing the two together by going in here. Th that is pretty. And then I'm going to go here again, right here. Just a little blend, blend, blend. Just to kind of tie it together. So I'll take my Fluff Fluff McGruff. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take this glimmery here for my eyelid. Pretty for my subtle eye. I'm going to go ahead and do this purple again. And in this little teeny tiny brush like that, very precise. I got it in my Jessup brush. I'm going to dip it in there good. And then I'm going to go right here. Oh, look. I'm just going to go with my Rimmel for uh, for my waterline. This works so much better for the waterline. Yeah. I try to get mostly on the lash line up here and then down to the waterline. Of course, for my lashes. Grand Mascara. This is a waterproof. I did order the water resistant to see if it's a little bit easier to take off at night and hopefully it doesn't transfer. So I come here. All right now we're going to try the Neutrogena concealer. Okay, so I'm going to go in the corner. I do a little dabbies to start with. All right. And I do have a little tiny pointy. This is the Angie. This is her A505 brush. But it works for cleaning up fallout. Well, I'll have to say, ladies, this stuff is nice. And how will it wear? That's another story. I like to do fingers too. Okay, ladies. This foundation is amazing. Oh my goodness. Healthy skin for sure. Oh, it's just glowy, beautiful. Feels like you have nothing on. It's satiny. Oh, it goes well with the rest of the makeup. I'm really excited to see how their uh, concealer wears under my eyes. It went on lovely. I love their little bronzer in this little case like this. It's great for travel. I'm excited. You know, this is every bit as nice as their skincare, so you know you can't go wrong. I will see you tonight. I will form a hidden room in my friend's house to show you how it wore. Thank you so much for being here, and we'll see you in just a bit.
Okay, beautiful ladies, here I am secretly filming in my girlfriend's bathroom at 7 p.m. The makeup held up fabulously. The Neutrogena concealer held up great. The foundation, you guys, oh, it's like butter. Neutrogena is a hit. Oh, and I had my new driver's license taken. I actually look like myself. I'll show you a picture next time. Love you guys so much.